please if you are new to this channel subscribe i checked my back and then i realized that most of you that watch my channel you don't subscribe why please subscribe okay when you subscribe to wait and press the bell icon that will show up after you have subscribed and then you press all because i want you to be part of my my people you know and i mean let's build something good together so today i am very 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 briefly going to say subscribe to my channel please <laughs> okay so now let's get into the conversation shall we there was a uh, uh, people people are saying a clash of sami flex which is chatawale's manager and Andy Dusty on Asempa FM, and you know Asempa is part of the Hit FM family. That, that the, the entire family of Hit FM, it's part of of them. And you know this whole thing that has happened between Shatawale and Andy Dusty, where it looks like right now it seems. In fact, um, Shatawale mentioned during his interview at Three Music Dam. He has been his music has now been boycotted at um hit fm and that side of the media and so you know so i'm just i one thing i think i've also seen is that shatawale is not going on every platform um mr ban which is um summer flex is my summer flex shatawale is manager the way i i, I mentioned that I, I i cannot <laughs> like the way i know him and i address him I cannot say that else you will know who I'm talking about. I call Sammy Flex Mr. Bam because he's the one that introduced me to media here in Ghana and all of that. So like he's my very close personal person. But um yeah, so Sammy Flex was on a sempa and they were talking about the project that has Shatawale has dropped, the Connect album and I think the kafafo between Shatawale and Andy Dusty came up. So Andy Dusty came to the studio to, you know, they came to me, they came to talk, they came to end. Uh, I think Andy Dusty tried to clear his side of the story. And then Sammy Flex, of course, tried to also defend Shatawale because, well, first of all, that is what, that is his job description. He has to defend Shatawale. Also, I think he also gave a certain perspective to same way that we sit on radio and we say things that we feel like, oh, the artist is hurt. Same way, I mean, we say things because somebody says something that hurts us. Same way the artist also feels when we say something that hurts them. I'm not going to get into what Andy Dusty said and what Sammy Flex said. I'm just saying that to me, I believe that once I sit behind this chair, and I want to talk about somebody. I know I am open to how people want to talk to me, talk about me too. So I just also have to find a way of also getting over that and moving on. But if I feel like somebody coming at me goes too personal and there's, I want to, you know, put a gap between the two of us, it is my thing that I want to do to, for my own peace of mind. However, so it's, um, what's the same flex also made very salient points that when you say to an artist that i'm taking your song i'm not going to play your song again then it means that you are literally taking their food off but it became um a back and forth conversation that we didn't get a very um solution to it we didn't get a solution to it but basically i think that was the first time we'd seen a rep from Shatter's camp and then Andy Dusty going at it about what exactly might have happened. As to, as to who was right, who was wrong, I, I'm, I'm not the one going to be having that conversation with you. Moving on, you know Shatawale threw some one or two shots when he went on as um on his interview on Three Music and one of these big artists, either Stonewall or Sakodia has responded. We'll talk about that. Afronita has posted um, a video of her dancing in front of the O2 and she says that it's a dream to perform there and I know this dream will materialize very soon. I mean, in fact, if we had a music industry here in Ghana, where our artists were filling the O2 arenas, I think she might have probably performed there a long time ago because I know some um, online dancers like I, 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 I'm never able to pronounce any cocaine or whatever now that they have gotten the chance to perform there. I know Nife and these uh, dancers that are um, just as good as Afronita, they've had the opportunity to perform at the O2 because artists from Nigeria like the Remes and Co, they've had the chance to perform there and these are dancers that also added to the numbers of the artists on especially TikTok. So when they are doing their shows, they make them come and dance with them on the day. I was thinking that, oh, if probably any of our artists from Ghana had performed at the O2 Arena before or keep performing at the O2 Arena like the Nigerians do all the time 
this dream would have materialized also it might not necessarily have to be passed to a ghanaian artist or an african artist who says i don't need to come and dance for me the way things are going anything can happen it could even a time could even come that there will be a dance competition or a dance something or she can even start something where she will have a grand show at the grand arena i mean at the um, o2 arena it's not a big deal it's not something that is impossible and i really like how she's dreaming forward and moving forward in her life now black sheriff has has taken his fashion you know thing to another level black sheriff has always had this peculiar style with his fashion and we've seen him collaborating with a fashion brand and now we've seen him walk the runway and i'm telling you black sheriff ate the runway you see how tall he is how slim he is how <laughs> in spanish you say delgado he's delgado how lean he is and how he has this stern look Charlie, the way he walked the labrum fits on the runway and it has been trending i am very excited for him he looked very clean he looked very you know stylish and he looked like he knew what he was about on the runway and i'm very glad to see that that video has also been trending so so much now it's a stone boy that actually made a post um, after shatawale's interview that said that um a focused fool can get more accomplished than a distracted genius and of course people say oh this is a direct shot at shatawale and you know it has also started a whole lot of conversation people are trying to use you know uh, how the philosophy to downplay what he said people are also trying to you know you know you know fans they will always go at each other but maybe he's not even talking about shatawale but the, the timing of it you can actually say that oh, possibly it's about Shatawale or well, whatever the case. Um, well, let's move on. <laughs> Shatawale, as I said, I'll talk about certain things he said in the interview. Now, Shatawale said something about he building a house and then he entrusted the buying of the materials and stuff to for a foreman. The the foreman, the one that was that that was building the house, but he realized that not foreman. No no obuni too much so somebody he had to step in and stop and i think that is a very big problem and i want to talk about it people in the construction center most people the construction sector most people here are comfort to the core it's like they suck the joy out of building your own house here in ghana and that is what they said eh? they might have seen it as a joke but it's a very dangerous thing you give your job to a foreman and they make sure that they also build their own house out of the house you are building like they exaggerate every price they inflate everything it's like they are literally making they are crippling you so that you don't do that why do you do that why are Ghanaians and why are people wicked to the core that way you trust somebody that you know that you have paid they've charged you or my charge you to, to build a house for you instead of them they've written their list instead of them to actually at oh, they only make come crab be raised up it's like they are milking you dry and of course Atawale is um a celebrity he might not be able to show up at the site there but mind you if you are able to go all out and build for shatawale maybe he will get he will sell that house or he will rent that house get money and give you another job to build the next one but just say oh my god and this castle new on your drum away those mason and the four men and those kind of people they make sure that they cripple the job they won't do the job they will use inferior material when you they have priced you overcharge of what might be the best and the highest price on there and yet go and buy inferior materials do things that will make sure that you you are not happy to build why are we wicked as a people why why oh now he also said something about um Quashier boys and that whole tag and Ashatawale's concerts when you are going, they are violent and people will rob you and all of that. And I think that thing too is a very good point that he raised because people get robbed all the time. People go to certain venues and they are robbed all the time. It's not that are, the people that robbed them were those that were attending the event or were at the event. Or in certain cases, they were even at the event. But it's not only Shatawale's event that this thing happens. So why is it that it's with all, only when it looks like a hey, Shatawale pen that that thing happens then? Somebody can be going for a presidential or can be going for a, a program at the same venue that a Shatta concert might be held and still get robbed. So do you say that the people that attended that, that, that thing, they are the violent and the uncouth and the hooligans no so why is that only him we are trying to tag his fans and stuff like that because as far as it knows people that come to 
his concert they leave and go home safe and sound and same way maybe one or two might get robbed or something at on their way to his concert or from his concert same way it happens to a lot of events here in ghana but we don't see us tagging those event organizers and the artists as oh more fans no or more are for the address but only for his concert or for him we are trying to make it look like the people that enjoy his concerts are like that also i mean somebody can be a thief and still like shatawale same way they are bankers they are people that they are in high places that like shatawale why don't we say that oh because i know a banker that likes shatawale or i know a very decent man that likes Tawale's show and goes for Tawale's concert and likes his music. We, we don't say that all the fans are also like that. But for the one or two not that are also misbehaving and by in fact, not there's no song of Shatawale that influences them to do that. It's just their nature. Same way you're watching me, you can be of a bad behavior and be a JC fan. You are just a bad person. It's not the exist song that have influenced you in any way. So why can't we accept that people are bad in their own way? They just like the songs that they like. And I think to me, that was a salient point. He also said something about the fact that um, there were these guys under at Underbridge that they he knows they are his fans and he heard that as a there was this rampant quashe thing happening over there and then he went there one day he talked to them that you know what ASC can I'm painting a moody said no why don't you come come and wait I will pay and I think that thing that he said to me I for some funny reason I got goosebumps because Charlie nah I just want to say thank you that is all because Charlie you may never know you might think that he saved the boys or people from being robbed but he might actually have saved another guy from going to jail and ruining his life so um, i think that was a positive thing that i want to highlight so yeah these are the big stories or some of the points that today i want to reiterate from his interview on three music and so let me go to palabra del dia if you want to say white white in spanish is blanco or blanca depending on the subject you're talking about if it is feminine or masculine so if i want to say my house is white i'll say mi casa es blanca Mikasa es Blanca. Now I'm using Blanca instead of Blanco because the word Casa is feminine, feminine singular. So you use Blanca. So this has been T with the Talkative. Do subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, and if there's anything you have to do, do it now. Hasluja.